Okay, I changed my mind. Don't ever blow the horn again in your entire life. That doesn't sound like... I thought that was a sand person from the Star Wars films. Could be Ted. Oh, now look here. You're taking this thing too seriously. To be sure, Ted was spectacular at college. But you don't go through life on a lot of touchdowns. You wait a little while. You come to a senses. I hope you're right, Doctor. You better come now, Doctor. If you want to get anything. If you know what I'm saying. Come ahead, Paul. Let's have some So are they super glued to each other's faces? Oh, okay. My head's going around like a pinwheel. <laughs> My heart's beat. There he is, our favorite uh, Joaquin Phoenix impersonator, Chester Morris. Like a steam engine. Feel. <laughs> when did you first start having heart trouble? From the first moment I met you. <laughs> then why have you been holding out on me? Well, you see, darling, I'm only a poor newspaper man, and we don't make much money. But from now on, I'm keeping track of the overhead. When I've saved enough money, we're going to be married. Also, what do you think of my fantastic boots? You sound a grandmother. What am I going to be doing while you're saving the first million? Sorry. Wait, if saved enough money, we're going to be married. You sound as if you were proposing to my grandmother. What am I going to be doing while you're saving the first million? Waiting for me. <laughs> Waiting isn't my idea of the king of indoor sports. I have no intention of waiting around for three or four years while you harvest an additional crop of wild oats. Oh, now, see here, darling, I'm not as bad as that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're no St. Anthony. You're just human. So am I. That's why I don't want to wait. <laughs> Jerry, you certainly say it straight. Sure, isn't that where we're going to be? Straight from the shoulder, open above board? Oh, you're a great girl. Open above board, I got you. Straight from the shoulder. I think that's an expression that died over the decades. And you know, you've got a man's point of view. <laughs> that's why... <laughs> Especially below the belt, which is why I like you so much. Thank you. Good night. Sorry. We're going to make a go of it. What? Everything e the fuck did I do? Equal. You bet. 75, 25. Hmm? <laughs> Shake. Whoops. Hey. <laughs> 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 When will you marry me? Tomorrow? Oh, gracious, no. Next week? Oh, I couldn't. Well, next month. Well, maybe. Oh, the first, Jerry, huh? <laughs> That's three whole long weeks off. <laughs> oh, please, the first, huh? Say yes. <laughs> I won't let you go until you say yes. <laughs> say yes, darling. Say I will yes. bear hug you until your rib cage collapses. Please. Damn. Okay, so basically what we're saying is It's a Wonderful Life stole this moment from the divorcee. Okay, that's fine. I see you, uh, Frank Capra. The first, Jerry, huh? <laughs> that's three whole long weeks off. <laughs> oh, please, the first, huh? Say yes. <laughs> I won't let you go until you say yes. <laughs> say yes, darling, say yes. <laughs> For the love of Mike, ladies, say yes. Point and get out of here. Is that alfalfa? <laughs> hmm. Also, your this pants actually you just pass your I'm knees. I'm not so sure. I wish you'd have a look for them. Right, old doctor. I know right where she fishes. It'll only take a minute. Well, for the love of Pete. No, for the love of Ted. Is she holding his pants fluff? Where have you been and why? Remember, anything you say will be used against you. Answer yes or no. I've already said yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well. The remainder of the script is just people saying yes and well. Would it make any difference whether I do or not? No. 